way louder than me. Wow. Alright. Here's me. Right, this is how this works. There we go. I'm some loudness. I'm some loudness. There we go. Yeah. I'm some loudness, and the game is some other loudness. It's not quite my loudness. There we are. Okay. Is all better? Yeah, this should be better. All right. Uh, here we go. Updates on PS4. Let's do it. Also, yes, this is the PS4. Also, hopefully the game don't crash. I guess we'll find out. That. All right. So here we go. I can unplug this controller because we don't need it anymore. Put that up there. Also, and we got this thing. Look at that. You connected a legacy thing. Dang. Now there it is. And now I can use it. Woohoo. I'm using my stick. Yeah. All right. So this week we'll be doing stuff on PS4 because the PS4 build is now in a state where we can do all that stuff. Look at that. I can go to the PS4 menu, except for I don't want to do that. <laughs> so let's hope I don't have to do that very often. Uh, and in theory, it shouldn't crash. And also in theory, I should remove the download content menu option because there won't be any because the game will be done. Uh, but all right. Here we go. Training mode stuff. Let's do it. Uh, actually, let me tweet this poop so you all can wait like five seconds. All right. Uh, how do I tweet on my phone? I never know where it is. Yeah, all right. You all get to wait while I tweet. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Here we go. Uh, oh, so before I forget stuff, so yeah, this week is on PS4 because PS4 is awesome uh, and runs and finally has loading screens and stuff. So if you want to plug your stick in and be the second person, uh, this is also the latest version of Lab Zero stick driver, which means hopefully it works. You're, this is training mode, so you're not going to be able to do anything anyway. But like, if I go to Versus, your stuff shows up. There it is. Look at that. All right. So, without further ado, here are our updates. Um, let's see. I'm going to do... Oh, yeah. And there's still that nice flash when you switch. Then. So you can tell it's on PS4. Um, all right. So I'm going to be Beowulf. Oh, so first of all, uh, there's a new color for Beowulf. And... Uh, as a result, since he already had 22, one of the other colors has been retired. Uh, it may or may not be back. We don't know yet. I'm not going to say anything, but I'm going to pick Fireman because Fireman is my favorite color of all time. Uh, and let's see. Also Fukua and also Misfortune because one of the updates for this week is that Fortune can choose uh, Elgato and Cat Slide as assists. However, if you have your head on, they are... Uh, standing medium kick and crouching medium kick, respectively. So if you, they are only the right assist when you have head off. Uh, so I'm gonna do cat slide because cat slide is cool. And then uh, there wasn't a whole lot. I mean, there was the double jump thing, which we'll get to in a second. So you can just have random everybody. Uh, Arena has been updated to improve the frame rate, which obviously won't matter on PS4 because it's a very powerful PS4 and it chumps through all of your polygons really quickly. Um, Alright, 
So, what's new this week? The first one is Call Your Assist. Uh, Beowulf's grab finishers all hit. Like a beat em up, call it again. Yeah, so now you can hit two people at the same time. Um, also, along with the stage update came dynamic lighting. So everybody turns orange when you do the, the finisher with the lighting in it. Uh, Willie's pretty awesome, and we will be using the dynamic lighting for some other stuff in the future, you'll see. Uh, also, an important part of this update that has absolutely nothing to do with anything uh, is that I separated out the colors for the milk jug and the milk label for Beowulf Super. So now they can all have different colored milk. Uh, for example, the fireman is drinking gasoline because that makes no sense at all. But that was why I wanted to do it, so that got done. Um, oh yeah, so the most important thing that we will be testing this week is the double jump change, which is, if you will look at the little assist light for me, when I double jump, I'm no longer allowed to call assist. So I can call them on the way up on a regular jump, but if I double jump, it doesn't matter what I do, they won't come out until I hit the floor. Uh, also, other than that, they still act like double jumps, so if I cross you up, they don't turn around with normals. So all of the stuff that you used to do with double jumps, like cross-ups, will still work. Uh, however, if you're in a super jump, obviously they turn around like they normally did. Right? So if I super jump and then double jump, then they turn around like they used to. But if you super jump, you can't call it this at all anyway. Uh, so, uh, also same with fortune, no assist until I hit the ground from double jump. Uh, but assist during regular jump just fine. Oh, so, fortune. Alright. Normally it's crouching medium kick. Right. But when I'm headless... That's totally not tag, that was assist. Uh, when I'm headless, now it's side. So, fortune has some of those. Um, I don't remember a whole lot of it because I was supposed to do the update like last week, but oh, Eliza's thing moves forward, but that was true last week. Uh, oh, Big Band, you don't, you totally don't even have Big Band. Oh, well, I, I picked Fukua for a reason, so let me do Fukua real fast. Uh, so Fukua, uh, drills went from, oh, it's not on advance. That's awesome. Why is it not on advance? because there wasn't any save data, because it's a PS4. All right, so drills went from 10, 10, 15, and 20 startup to 10, 14, and 18, uh, which is closer to, but not exactly what was in the retail game, and that's all you get, so be happy with it. Um, boop, boop. Oh yeah, so we also have Robo Fortune, and Big Man, and something else that I don't remember. I mean, I'm sure there was a lot more than this, but whatever, none of it was all that big. Uh, so I'll be Valentine, and I'll show you a thing, and you'll be Beowulf. All right. So if there are any issues playing on PS4, please tell me. Aside from controllers not working, which I also care about, but there shouldn't really be any major anythings. Uh, so as covered last week, Robo Fortune has all of her beam supers. Uh, the way they work now is if you hold uh, if you hold any punch button, you get level 3. And if you hold specifically hard punch, you can hold other things, but if you're holding hard punch and you have 5 bars, it will be the level 5. Otherwise, it will not be the level 5. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Also, uh, jumping hard kick, uh, if you double jump, you can no longer go up. But other than that, if you go up, you can still go pretty high. Uh, but also, since the double jump thing applies, uh, you can't you can't assist while you double jumped. Uh, so that's the thing that that's the main thing that we're testing this week. Um, also, before I forget, um, do anti air super quarter circle back two kicks. Yeah. So you can't hit him. Initially, but everybody, well, most of the characters have things that they can do to punish. I mean, light beat extend is really easy, right? But there are also, uh, I'll go through a couple other ones that are meterless just because. Oh, that was the thing I skipped. Uh, Lenny for Peacock. The startup is now vulnerable instead of invincible. Uh, so that it still works as all DHCs and everything, but now she doesn't have anything that's straight up invincible on frame one. Um, so as far as punishes go. 
and Parasol and Fortune, and you could be Beowulf again. All right. Yes, and this is the last thing. The main thing that we're testing this week is the double jump uh, change. I, I am curious what it will do. Okay, so do anti-air super again. So that's one. Uh, the other one, do it again. Same thing. Is you can do that, and you actually get a full punish. Uh, if you super jump, you obviously can turn around and do more stuff, like do it again. Right, if you super jump, you can do whatever you want. Fukua can do the same thing. Um, Parasol doesn't get much of a punish, but at least she gets a punish. Do it, yeah. So you can literally just hold up back and mash medium punch, and you get a punish. Uh, Fortune also gets a full combo punish with whatever you want to do off of that. I don't know what to do off of Oh, well, Jab Fierce works. Do it again. Right. So, most characters can punish it if you are waiting for it, but uh, the only exceptions are Peacock can't do anything, but he ends up a full screen away, which is what she wants anyway. Painwheel uh, can't do much. Uh, you can actually do super jump back air throw, but it's really hard. Uh, and Valentine can do... Oh, that was why I had Valentine before. Let's see if I can actually get this. So, Valentine can do this, but it's really tight. And also, I'll be Painwheel just because Painwheel... Oh, well, I'll be three characters because I'm I'm sort of surprised. Alright, Painwheel's over here. Painwheel's over there. Yeah. Also, look, it's indistinguishable from the PS3 version. Isn't that cool? I'm pretty happy about that, actually, except for the fact that it runs at 1080 at full frame rate. Okay, so I'll do Eliza first. Uh, this one's really easy. Do it again. Well, oh, stand medium punch works? Okay, I, j I just did dive kick, so whatever. Yeah, all right, so that works. You can just mash medium punch, and then you get a full punish uh, with dive kick. Pain wheel can't really do much, but like I said, do it again. If you get that, you can actually get that, but it's really hard because air throws don't have a buffer. Uh, so I'll just like leave that for pain wheel people. Valentine, do it again. Can actually do one more. Super jump back flatline, which is also really hard. Do it again. I'll see. I'll give it one more shot. Yeah, so that's actually really hard, but you can do it. Uh, also, for some reason, the end of that animation doesn't count as counter hit, so I need to fix that. Uh, but anyway, those are the updates for this week. Uh, once again, the really important one that we are testing is that you cannot call assists when you are double jumping. So, well, let's see what that does to people, but other than that, uh, here we go. If it crashes or whatever, let me know, and now we're going to go have food, so I'll be back in like half an hour. Oh, also there might be something else secret that has nothing to do with gameplay that you guys will discover. We'll see if you discover it. If you don't, then I'll probably talk about it at some point. But, uh, go nuts. Shout out to Freak. Oh my god, thank you for getting this to work. <laughs>